G'day guys, Rodio. Uh, today I've got a recipe from I've uh, got from a friend. He made this bread um, when we went out on a caving mish, um, and it was fantastic. I asked for his recipe. He gave it to me, um, and I made it, and it turned out absolutely beautiful. Very much like that um, bread you get from the shops. So you don't need to go get your own bread from. Uh, you can make your own bread rather than get it from the shops. It's a recipe for a fosha bread. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it. It's really, really easy to make. So I hope you guys get the same results I did. Brilliant. As with any bread, um, we're going to begin by proofing our yeast and water together. So we're going to grab a bowl and into the bowl we're going to stick in one cup of lukewarm water followed by one teaspoon or so of sugar. This will help the um, yeast ferment. Followed by our two teaspoons of active um, dry yeast. Now we're going to put this aside for around 10 to 15 minutes. Um, at the end of that um, time we should have a nice sort of frothy mixture where the yeast is activated. So while our yeast is proofing, um, we're going to grab a large bowl and into this bowl we're going to stick in our flour. So we're going to begin with three and a half cups of plain flour. We're going to follow this by one and a half teaspoons of salt, two tablespoons of oil, and we're going to then slowly pour in our yeast mixture that we've left, left to proof. When you get a hand beater like I have here with dough hooks, or you, if you've got an, a, a mix, mixer with dough hooks, um, go for it. You can also do it by hand. Either way is uh, acceptable. Once we've been mixing for a minute or so, we're going to put in an extra half cup of water. It doesn't need to be warm or anything, just stick it in, and this will help bring the dough together. Continue to mix the mixture or with your dough hooks until you get a nice dough ball. Once you have this, we're going to turn it out onto a floured surface and then we're going to knead it for around 10 minutes until our dough is really nice, smooth and elastic -y. With our dough ball nice and soft, uh, we're going to cover this with a damp tea towel and we're going to stick it into a nice warm place and let it rise um, to around about double in size. So when our dough has roughly doubled in size, around two hours, we're going to remove it from wherever we have left it. We're going to punch out the air, and then we're going to cut our dough into two um, two balls, two separate balls. So this will give us two focaccia breads at the end of it. From there, all we're going to do is grab one of these dough balls, and we're going to press this out onto some baking paper on a baking pan. We're just going to press it out till it's roughly around sort of two centimeters thick. It might be one centimeter to two centimeters thick. We want it to be nice and thin with a nice and light fluffy center. We don't want it too thick otherwise it's not going to cook uh, nice and evenly. Now we can get on to the most fun part. Um, grab your knuckle um, and then just simply press down into the dough sort of randomly. doesn't need to be any, any pattern. If you want a pattern that's fine. Um, and this gives it that trademark focaccia bread look. Um, and then we're just going to Oil the top of the dough. Now this will just give it a really nice crisp um, outside when we cook it. Um, and then obviously you move on to what you're going to stick on sort of on top of your focaccia bread. I've opted for a olive and rosemary sort of pairing with a bit of um, rock salt. Many different combinations. I've heard cumin seeds scattered across the top, caramelized onions, sort of it's up to you with your imagination. However, with our focaccia bread, we're going to put this into an oven at 210 degrees Celsius until golden. It takes roughly around 10-15 minutes. It's a very thin bread so don't make sure you don't overcook it but you want a really nice crunchy golden outside and a really soft airy center. Okay once you pull it out your house is going to smell amazing. You can cut it up any way you want. Use it as sandwiches. Um, it's entirely up to you. I hope you found this video somewhat useful um, on how to make focaccia bread. So, like always, feel free to uh, comment um, or ask your questions below. Uh, I'll see you next week. I've got a chicken salad recipe coming up, so keep your eyes peeled for that one. But until then, stay safe and get in that kitchen of yours.